आई एम गीता असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ ट्रिपल ई सातिबामा इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी टीम टू बी यूनिवर्सिटी नाउ वी आर जस्ट गोइंग ऑन टू इन टू दीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज अबाउट दि टॉपिक कारनाग मैप सो हियर कारनाग मैप एस आई सो एस आई टोल्ड यू इट इज नथिंग बट अ मैपिंग मेथड यूज फॉर रेड्यूसिंग अ बुलियन फंक्शन ऑफ टू वेरिएबल थ्री वेरिएबल फोर वेरिएबल और अ फाइव वेरिएबल जस्ट सी हाउ अ बुलियन फंक्शन कैन बी इंट्रोड्यूस्ड इन टू अ मैप इफ एट ऑल इफ यूर एक्सप्रेशन इज गोइंग टू बी अ टू वेरिएबल एक्सप्रेशन टू वेरिएबल इन द सेंस देर आर गोइंग टू बी ओनली टू वेरिएबल्स ए एंड बी वेन देर आर ओनली टू वेरिएबल्स देर आर ओनली फोर पॉसिबल कॉम्बिनेशन ए बार बी बार ए बार बी ए बी बार एंड ए बी इफ देर आर ओनली फोर कॉम्बिनेशन अ मैप विल कंटेन ओनली फोर सेल्स सो यू कैन सी फोर सेल्स स्केप्ट इन अ बॉक्स वेर अ वर्टिकल लाइन कैरीज ए एंड अ ऑरिजोंडल लाइन कैरीज बी वेर ए कैन बी आई दर जीरो और वन एंड बी कैन बी जीरो और वन दिस ए वेन इट इज गोइंग टू बी हाउ इट इज गोइंग टू बी रेप्रेजेंटेड एज जीरो इज वेन ए इज कॉम्प्लीमेंटेड और बी इज कॉम्प्लीमेंटेड इट इज गोइंग टू बी रेप्रेजेंटेड एज जीरो वेन ए इज नॉन in non complemented form or b is non complemented form we are going to represent it as one now the combinations as i have told you there are only four combinations 0 0 can be for a bar b bar and 0 1 for a bar b and 1 0 for a b bar and 1 1 for a b now this 0 0 0 1 1 0 can be given as m 0 m 1 m 2 and m3 now as i say this is m this is going to be represented as min terms so when we are going to call your uh, terms as a min terms is that when your function is going to be a standard sum of product function or a standard sop form the terms inside a function we are going to call it as the min terms and min terms are represented with a small m and if it is going to be 0 0 it is m 0 1 0 1 it is m 1 1 0 it is m 2 2 and 1 1 it is m3 this is how we are going to go on for mapping process this is an outline of a k map where you have only two variables there is there is going to be a four cell in a two variable mapping then same way if you go on with a three variable mapping you can see that three variables a b and c so total number of cells will be depending on the number of variables in a given function according to the number of variables the possible combinations are written over here like a b bar b bar c bar is the minimum combinations we have at the maximum you can have a b c as the last one and these terms are represented as m not m1 till m7 it is represented so totally you have eight min terms this is also going to be a standard sop function example now you can see the uh, representation of a k map over here so here there are three variables one variable is taken horizontally i mean vertically and bc is the other two variables which is taken horizontally and a is a have an option of having either 0 or 1 so i have made it as 0 in the first call first row and 1 in your second row and bc is represented as two variables in the horizontal line so two variables in the sense as discussed in the two variable mapping you will have four combinations those four combinations has to be in inserted into your uh, row over here 0 0 0 1 1 and 1 0 this is order of your representing of a representation of a map according to the uh, positions of 0 0 0 your map first cell will have min term of 0 and 0 0 1 is the second position where your k map will contain your min term 1 and 0 double 1 represents a bar bc which is min term number 3 that will be in your uh, third cell and 0 1 0 is the min term number 2 will be available in your fourth cell of your three variable k map and same way moving on for the below row below row you can see the left out is m4 m5 m6 and the m7 and according to the positions here this is 1 this is 1 0 0 1 0 0 equivalent of 1 0 0 is your fourth term so here fifth cell will contain 1 0 0 that is your min term 4 and it continue new sasage min term number 5 min term number 7 followed by min term number 6 next we go on for a four variable representation four variable representation as discussed in your two variable and three variable here number of variables are going to be four when there are four number of variables the number of cells 
in your K map is going to be 2 to the power 4. When 2 to the power 4 equivalent is 16. So 16 it means that there will be 16 number of cells in the K map and there will also be 16 min terms in your representation in various combinations starting from 0, 0, 0, 0 till 1, 1, 1, 1. Accordingly here you can see you have 16 cells, the, a map is being framed or formed or designed such that two variables to the vertical column and other two variables to your horizontal column. These two variables, wherever you find a two variable, definitely you are going to have a four combinations 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 1 and same way for the other two variables CD, this is also going to contain four, com I mean four combinations 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1 and 1, 0. As we have placed your min terms in your three variable K map, we are going to place your min terms in your four variable K map also according to the positions of the combinations which you have placed. That is 0, 0, 0, 0 will be min term number 0, 0, 0, 0, 1 will be min term number 1 which is placed in your second cell and it continues you can just see the combination 1 0 0 0 comes in the last 8th 8th uh, min term number 8 has to be placed in the last row this setup or the, this, the design which we have framed is not going to be changed anymore this is going to be the actual representation of a 4 variable k map and if at all you are going to go on for a 5 variable k map a small change which you have to do it in your uh, a 4 variable k map is that so number of variables will be 5. Number of variables is 5 in the sense you will have A comma B comma C comma D comma E. So out of which we have already framed a mapping method for a 4 variable. So one variable is left alone which can be either 0 or which can be 1. So what we are going to do is that we are going to combine 2. Now we shall see an example where uh, you can go on for representing a given, given boolean function for a 4 variable. Now you can see the question like function of A comma b comma c comma d is equal to summation of m it, it represents this is all going to be a min terms where you have so many terms inserted into a given function now you have once you see a variable a b c d it means that you are going to go on for representing a four variable k map so a b c d a b in the vertical column and c d in your horizontal row and after that a frame is being fixed as such as we have discussed in your four variable k map now whatever the terms you have into the given function all the terms has to be represented as one in its respective places you can see zero i have placed one over here you can see one i have placed one over here and four five four five i have placed one eight nine ten and eleven eight nine 10 and 11 followed by 15. Now we have placed all the ones where it has been given into your function. Now we will go on for mapping a given uh, function. When we go on for mapping a function, you have to go on for map the ones which is placed adjacent to each other. Now we have four ones standing together. So what are we going to do is that we are going to combine all these four ones together and call this as a group. And this particular function you can see this side you have A bar B bar and this side you have A bar B and to the top you have C bar D bar and here you have C bar and D bar. D. Now what we are going to do is that which variable is common to both the terms we are going to combine it and take only the common variable A bar and here you can see that C bar is common c bar is common so whichever is common that alone we are going to consider the complemented and uncomplemented variable is going to be cancelled each other and these common two variables are grouped and it, the expression is going to be given as a bar c bar now this is going to be the expression for the mapped four adjacent ones now you can see other four ones which are adjacently placed then these four ones can be mapped together when they are mapped together you can see all the four columns 
are been mapped when all the four columns are been mapped one way or the other these two variables are complementing each other and cancelled together and we don't have any term in the horizontal row and you can just see here you have only 1 and 0 which is left alone this can be represented as a b bar and this group will be your second grouping g2 which can be represented as a b bar and now left out is this particular one which is standing aside separately and this one can be mapped with the one which is already been mapped this is called overlapping you can also go on for overlapping when one one is left alone and this grouping as discussed with this particular mapping same way here you have one and one you have cd and here you have one one a b and here you have a b bar where a is common b is left separately so together this group g3 is going to be left as a c and d now after the reduction process of the map the final expression f of a comma b comma c comma d is going to be expressed as a bar c bar all the groups will be joined together group number two a b bar and group number three a c and d now this is the final reduced expression where we have not used your rules or the laws and this expression according to the question given to us implement the given function using k map now we have reduced the given function and we, after the reduction process we have got the expression as a bar c bar plus a b bar plus a c d now this expression has to be implemented once the word implemented is seen either it can be implemented in and or logic or only in and logic or with only nor nor logic nor nor logic is possible only when we have a or and function here you have and function followed by or function so this is definitely going to be a and function followed by or so what we are going to do is we are going to implement it using only and gate and the or gate so in in addition to and and or gate we are going to complement all the variables which is available in the expression this complementing of the variable can be done with only your not gate so in addition to and and or gate we are going to use a not gate now three inputs a b c okay d now this is the four input variables as such now you can use a not gate where this line represents a bar and this line will represent b bar and this line will represent c bar and this line will represent d bar and now you have your first express first term as a bar and c bar a bar line you touch you just take your point from a bar and one more point is going to be c bar make a and gate and same way followed by a b bar now a comes from here next b bar comes from this line one and gate which will give us a bar c bar and a c d a line c and d give an AND gate which will give us the product and all the product has to be given to an OR gate this will give you the answer y or the function reduced function this is a kind of a simple implementation what we have done you can also implement this using only NAND which we will discuss in your later session see now we have implemented the given uh, function using your kmap and we have also reduced the function after the reduction process we have implemented using your AND gate and the OR gate in addition to it NOT gate is also used so you can also go on for the implementation process using only NAND gate that we will just see it in your later sessions thank you